Dan Corbin, and today I have a couple special guests here to teach us a little bit about the Eastern Gray Squirrel. Our guests are Cody Underwood, Grace Causey, and Navelle Gastons. Cody has been attending Eagle Tech at FCHS and has joined us today to teach us all about where the Eastern Gray Squirrel's habitat and adaptations it's made to be able to survive for so long. Our next guest is Grace Causey. She has been helping Cody study the Eastern Gray Squirrel. Her work consists of its nutrition and how the squirrel gathers food so it can survive through the rough wintry atmosphere of North America. Our final guest is Novella Gaskins. He has been working with Grace and Cody for the past couple weeks and has found some interesting information about the gray squirrel's reproduction. So may we begin? Actually gray, first of all. It is a mix of blacks, browns, and whites. They are very small in size and only 30 centimeters in length and can weigh up to 600 grams. As a full-grown male, their body is mostly made, of its, made up of its tail at 22 centimeters long. With their long tail being used as a rudder when jumping through, it is also more of a distraction to large predators. The eastern gray squirrel is also native to North America and is in the genus Circus. Their scientific name is Circus carlonesis. An average squirrel's life in the wild is about three years, but they can live up to 13 and can live in 20 years in captivity. Anything lately? If I was truly honest with you, yes. I really don't study small rodents. My main studies are plants, but that is for another day. I see that you've been doing research on the eastern gray squirrel's habitat, so may I ask you a couple questions about where this animal lives? Well, isn't that why I'm here? Where, where is the best place I could find an eastern gray squirrel? Well, I have discovered that their population is mostly found in the woodland areas in North America, and they were just introduced to Great Britain and South Africa. But you can even find the squirrel in your backyard. So do they make nests like birds, or do they live underground like moles? Eastern gray squirrels are like most other squirrels that make dens. They use bare branches or hollow branches that are in the trees, and sometimes use old abandoned bird nests for shelter too. Eastern gray squirrels are very smart and line their dens with mosses, dried plants, and thistle downs to help keep their dens warm. I never knew animals would be evolved so much to gain information on how they insulate their homes. Is there a certain tree that the eastern gray squirrels like to make their dens in? That is a very hard question to answer. Most squirrels just look for an already made den. We discovered that eastern gray squirrels are predominantly nut-eating squirrel, which means they like to live near or in hickory and oak forest. Do you have any other information that you would like to share with us today? There is one last thing that I would like to share with y'all is that the eastern gray squirrel has made many adaptations. One huge adaptation that the squirrel made was their claws. The squirrel's claws have gotten a little bigger and a lot sharper so they can climb trees easier and grasp bigger nuts. Wow, that's crazy how an organism can change over time so they can survive. Well, thank you for your time and your valuable information. Thank you for having me. I know you've been working with Cody for the past couple weeks on studying the eastern gray squirrel and he has come across some very interesting facts about how its habitat. Is there anything in particular that you have learned that you would like to share with us? Well, I have been studying the eastern gray squirrel's diet for the past couple of weeks and discovered it has a different diet for different times of the year. Please explain. Okay, so an eastern gray squirrel eats different things throughout the year depending on what is available. In the spring, they normally feed on buds and hardwood trees hardwood tree winged seeds from maple trees in the summer they may also eat other berries and wild fruits in the fall all they pretty much eat are hard nuts summer hickory nuts bitter nuts beech nuts pine seeds and butternuts i only thought they ate acorns man it is crazy how you can learn something new every day so now that you've told what they eat how do they get their food the eastern gray squirrel gets its food in many different ways. It can climb trees to get the nuts or gather nuts that have already fallen. They can do this because they have a very good sense of smell. They can locate berries and nuts pretty much anywhere in the world. That was some great information on the eastern gray squirrel's nutrition plan. Is there anything cool facts that you would like to tell us about? Actually, there is. So when eastern gray squirrels can't find any nuts or berries, they will resort to insects, young birds, and caterpillars. Norm you normally won't ever see this because it is a very rare condition that only happens when squirrels can't find any berries or nuts. That is insane. I've never heard of such thing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something. Finally, the person that I've been waiting to talk to, Navelle. Hello, Corbin. Thanks for having me. No, thank you for coding. 
coming. Cody has taught us about the eastern gray squirrel's habitat, and Navelle, and Grace has taught us about the its nutrition. So what are you here to tell us? Today, I will inform you about an eastern gray squirrel's reproduction. Well, do the eastern gray squirrels give live birth? Actually, yes, Corbin. Eastern gray squirrels are mammals and give birth, just like every other mammal. An average adult female breeds between two to eight baby squirrels or kits. Are there any certain breeding seasons, like deer, or do they just breed whenever? Well, actually, there are two breeding seasons. The first one starts in December and ends in February. The second one starts in May and ends around late June. Their digestion period is about 44 days. Okay, I know that eastern gray squirrels can live up to three years in the wild, so how early can females start to breed? So, a female eastern squirrel can start to breed a year after birth. I have one last question. Can kids see when they're born? The answer to your question is no. Eastern gray squirrels are born blind with their eyes shut. They also, they're also they also born pink skins with no hair. Their heads and legs are larger compared to the rest of their body, parts, where, parts when they are young. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about the eastern gray squirrel? I do have one cool fact that I would like to share. You see... Eastern gray squirrels live three years on average, just with very natural predators. Some important predators they have to look out for are snakes, raccoons, red foxes, and hawks. That's why they live such short lives, because they have so many predators. Huh, that's very weird. I, f I feel like their population and lifespan would start to increase. Thank you, Cody, for bringing in your team today. Thank you for inviting us here today. Hope you can do this again sometime. Have a good day. Have a good rest of your day, everyone, and I hope that you learned something today.